Hello! Today I'm going to be talking about firewall aliases and how they can actually make your life a lot easier. They can make your firewall rule sets uh, a lot more simpler to read, uh, clean things up, and, and still get the job done that a firewall needs to do. So let's go take a look at a, the current firewall rules that we have set in place. And let's see if we can optimize it a bit. Go to our firewall, go down to our rules, uh, I want to look specifically at my opt1 network. Now, currently, I've got three rules in place that are allowing internet traffic from uh, any machine on the opt1 network. And in this case, it's our Windows 10 machine here. He's able to connect out to the internet. Uh, but I'd like to optimize this a little bit and kind of simplify it so that I'm only going to have one, one rule that does all the job for all three of these things. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at how to make an alias. Firewall, aliases. And so I'm going to make an alias. Add, I'm going to give it a, a logical name. I'm giving it the name 2 just so I can differentiate between a, a rule that I already have. Always give your aliases a description. The type. And in this case, we're actually going to be doing it to a ports. And there's, there's a lot of ways in here that we can do some interesting types of aliases. And that'll be on in a future video. But here we're going to be doing it just for ports. Port 80. Always give it a description. And now we've we've added all those ports. Let's go ahead and save this thing. Apply changes. So I've applied the changes. Let's go look at the new alias that we made. So we've got our, our categories, uh, but I made a I made a port alias. Now I already had one that was in there. Uh, I made another one just for a video here, uh, which is totally fine. But now what we want to do is go make a firewall rule that uses this alias. So here we are over at the firewall rules uh, that we have already in place. And uh, let's just do a quick double check that these rules right now are working. If we jump over to our machine that's on that the network that's the Opt1 network, we should be able to get to the internet. And we can see we rec receive some data. So we know that we have internet access. Let's go ahead and just do it just for giggles. Let's turn these things off. I'm going to disable the rules. Apply it. I don't want to see the internet fail. and it didn't connect. The previous landing page was cached. So it was cached, and we that's why we were able to see that, that page there. But we weren't able to get to Pinterest, so what we need to do now is actually make a rule using the alias that we made and uh, get some internet going on. So the rule that I'm making is specifically for for the internet on this network. Uh, I'm going to allow the pass. Opt1 interface is totally fine. I want TCP UDP. Keep going down. I want it to be anybody that's on my network, so the Opt1 network. And my destination, uh, anywhere, because it's the internet. But I want to actually specify my port range. So before, when we were making rules, we could be say, hey, I want 
port 80. But over here, we're going to say other. And I'm going to start spelling out my alias that I made. And I called it internet. Go ahead and save that. Apply changes. And now what we need to do is go ahead and test that. Let's jump over to our Windows 10 machine and give it a test. And as you can see, the we weren't able to connect before, but now that we've got our, our rule in place with an alias being used, we can see that the we were able to connect to the internet. And if you hover over it, you can see a quick uh, snapshot of the ports that are being that are being used. And there you go. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.